I am a hospitalist and a research scientist at the University of Michigan. I focus both on the care of clinical patients in the hospital setting, and my research roles focus on patient safety in the hospital setting, specifically looking at patients who are uh, at risk of developing complications or patients who are at risk of developing adverse events such as wrong side surgeries. I'm a member of the, the Patient Safety Enhancement Program, or PSEP. Uh, PSEP is run by Dr. Sanjay Saint, who is my research mentor. Within PSEP, there are certain core areas of, of research. So uh, Dr. Saint and my colleague, Dr. Meddings, focus a lot on catheter-associated urinary tract infections. My work focuses on vascular catheters, or IVs, and why patients who get IVs sometimes develop complications that are unforeseen. I currently help lead a 52 hospital collaborative across Michigan that's focusing on the use of these IVs in Michigan hospitals. And already there's been remarkable insights. You know, we found that up to a quarter of all patients who get them may not necessarily need them. This work has uh, actually informed some national standards. So uh, the Choosing Wisely recommendations by the American Board of Medicine have echoed that IV device selection should be a key area to stop and think for physicians. Uh, internationally, we've had impact with some of our work in countries like Australia and Singapore who are now taking this model that we've built and actually applying it into their own governments and their own policies. So it's been an incredible part of what I do um, and uh, sort of the things that I've been able to be part of as a result of being at Michigan. The other big area that we're hopefully going to start tackling moving forward and one I think that has incredible promise is this issue of diagnostic errors and how physicians think. Often when physicians go wrong, they don't know they're going wrong until after something bad happens. So our project is really, I think, going to be one of the first, most innovative ones to tackle this problem head on. I think this is the biggest challenge in medicine today, and I think our work here will help certainly inform how best to avoid it moving forward. Imagine a world where you walk up to the water cooler and you're filling your water bottle, and somebody walks up to you and says, hey, what do you do? And all of a sudden, you realize this person has a completely different specialty or training than you do. They're often a scientist or a policy expert in a realm that you're not at all connected with. And yet, within a five-minute conversation, there are so many obvious links between your work and theirs that it's a thought stopper to be able to think about, well, why haven't I met with you before? IHPI has been the catalyst for that for me. You know, we think we're a small world in Ann Arbor and that we know everyone here. Uh, I certainly thought so. And uh, being an IHPI has made me realize how many great people there are, but also how close they are. Uh, you're typically only two or three degrees of separation from an expert in a field that you have an interest in. And IHPI has become an incredible magnifying glass or a search tool to be able to cross-link with those people, think about creative ideas, but also think about collaborations. Even today, uh, the use of electronic medical records, uh, the advent of newer technologies and devices has allowed us to look into the human body better than we have been able to do before. But with that comes challenges. Uh, when should you use these technologies? Uh, when is there too much knowledge such that you actually can't benefit from it? It actually may lead you astray or down the wrong path. And how do you balance knowing about a problem and matching that with what best to do with it? Uh, that mismatch, I think, has always been a tension that has, that has existed in medicine. I see this only becoming a bigger problem moving forward as we explode into newer dimensions and newer ways to look inside the body. To keep up with that as physicians, I think, will be the biggest challenge we have. Um, but also, I think that's our greatest potential. Uh, if we can really uh, learn and leverage that for the betterment of healthcare, I think medicine in 20 or 30 years will be far better than what it is today.